So guys, we did a thing. Well, we actually did two things. This video is just going to be some super quick updates on the channel. In the background, some of the footage that I've captured while playing Control will be playing. This is going to be basically an audio only video, so you can just have it on in the background. So the first thing that we did was we reached 1000 subs. That's great. That's amazing. That's so good. We're at 1000 subscribers and that means a few things. But before we get to that, we actually went way past 1000 subs up to 1200 subs. When I'm recording this, I'm at about 1240, which is awesome because not only did we go past 1000 subs and then past 1200 subs, but 1200 subs was our goal for 2019. If you remember way back, if you've been following the channel for a little while, I made a video explaining smart goals and I set out three goals for the channel. And one of those goals was we wanted to get to 1200 subscribers by the end of the year. And hey, look, we've done it. We're at 1240 which means we've gone past our goal and we've got a couple of months spare, which is awesome because now we can knuckle down on the other two goals, which I'll explain later. But I feel like 1000 subs is a good time to do something to like give back to the community. And I know like a lot of people would normally probably do something like a Q&A maybe, but I want to hear from you guys. I want to know if there's something that you guys want to do as like a 1000 subs reward something that maybe isn't on the channel normally. It doesn't have to be game design related. We could do a Q&A or I could play through a certain game that you guys wanted me to or check something out or I don't know, we could do a movie review or something like that. Something a little different. It depends on what you guys want. Drop your ideas down in the comments. I'll have a look and see what pops up and I'll see if we can find out something to do as like a 1000 subs celebration video. It should, it'll be good. It'll be good. Getting to 1000 subs opens up a couple of other things. The big one is that I now have access to community posts. So other than just a video, community posts are essentially just a text post and I can add an image in there. It's pretty much a social media post from other social media platforms, but just on YouTube. But this is good because previously where I would try and put something up on my Twitter or try and put something up on my Facebook, which I know a lot of people don't follow and it's kind of splitting the channels apart. Instead of having to do that, now if there's something that's going on or if a video is delayed or if I'm just having a bad time editing through something or even just to update you guys. For example, the God of War video took me weeks to get through because it's 40 minutes long. That's about the length of two or three of my normal videos. I can let you guys know what's going on with that right here on YouTube with one of the community posts. So I would like to try and take advantage of those a bit more to let you guys know what's happening with the channel. And I can do that now that I have access to them, which is good. So keep an eye out for those. Another little tidbit of news is, and it's probably going to be kind of a big one, but it's not really going to make any difference for you guys. I'm going to change the name of the channel. Now, I've named this channel after my gamer tag. That's how it's been the entire time it's been the channel. But instead, what we're going to do is we're going to change it to Game Design with Michael. You'll see this change probably in the next week or so, and I will explain why I want to change it. The reason that I want to change this is I've been sort of wired into the YouTube ecosystem a little bit through a few of the channels that I've been following for a long time. I followed a few channels that handle how you would build an audience and how to go about having a good YouTube channel and that sort of stuff for a couple of years before I actually started my own YouTube channel. In that pursuit of just keeping up to date with all this sort of stuff, YouTube and Google are pushing really, really hard towards safe, brand-friendly, family-friendly content. Although my name for the channel probably isn't any cause for issue for YouTube or Google, I am a little bit worried about just using the term giggity. Like I said, it's probably not a big issue, but I think if we change the name of the channel from Game Design with Giggity McD to Game Design with Michael, it just presents better outwards. I'm trying to grow the channel, I'm trying to build an audience here and so I want to remove as many barriers as possible and one of those barriers is potentially fighting the algorithm or fighting YouTube's standards or fighting some of the things that are a little bit more under the surface with YouTube that they don't say is the case but it's the case and we all know it. So you'll see that change in the next couple of days, maybe in a week or two. And we'll just keep cruising on like that, just changing the channel name so that it looks a little bit better outwards and it feels a little bit more professional to be able to talk about and that sort of stuff. 
I'm gonna try and get back into more game design stuff. I wanna start working on a game for myself. I have been dipping my toes in here and there, but not really focusing down on anything. And I want to change that. Eventually, I do wanna be able to make game design and game development my full-time job. And to do that, that means I have to be working on games. So hopefully the content won't change too much, but probably maybe shorter videos with less examples from video games that I'm playing. And instead it will be just explaining the concepts. But that fits in a lot more with the other goals for the channel, which I discussed earlier. So the three goals for this year for this channel were one, get 1200 subscribers. We wanted to do a little bit better than last year with our 500 or so and get about 700. And so that's where that number 1200 came from and we've managed to do that. So we've hit one of our three goals and that's awesome. The other two goals were, we sort of specified that there was edited videos on the channel, which are the highly edited, highly scripted, lots of examples, talking about one concept, trying to keep things very succinct, edited videos. Then I was also planning on, as the third goal, making a bunch of more casually edited, more casually scripted, lower production value videos that would help pad out the content and get content actually on the channel. Because one of the things that I haven't been able to do consistently over the two years almost that the channel has been up is give you guys regular content at, a reg at regular intervals. So where are we with those two goals and how does that help with the game design stuff that I wanna do? Well, at the moment, I've gone back over the videos that I've released this year and we've done nine edited videos. So we only gotta do one more edited video, which is awesome because that's pretty much all of the hard work out of the way. And so that will probably be a review of another game. I'm looking at maybe getting the Outer Worlds. I really want to play that game. I don't know whether that's going to be conducive with a, one of my reviews because normally I like to play through the game at least once before I do the review. And then for the other goal, we've only done four casual videos. Between now and the end of the year, to hit our goal, we need to do 16 casual videos. And that's gonna be that's gonna be a big undertaking. So I don't know whether we're gonna hit that. I'm gonna try, I'll do my best, but that's more than one a week. So I'm gonna have to really, really try hard to hit that, hit that goal. But that does mean that hopefully over the next couple of months, there's gonna be a, a bunch of content on the channel for you, even if it's just small, tiny videos about different things that I'm doing in the game design sort of sphere and how I'm approaching my problems and things like that. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. That's what I'm thinking about for the channel. Keep heading towards those goals. I'm gonna try and do some game dev stuff and you guys need to let me know what you guys want for the 1000 subs video. Put your ideas in the comments down below and thank you so much for supporting the channel. It really means a lot. It's something that I've wanted to do for a long, long time. And it is one of those things that when you're working a full-time job and you're trying to catch up with friends and you're trying to also release highly edited, highly scripted, useful, informative content, it's, it's a lot of work. And so all of the amazing comments that people have been leaving, all of the views and the, the minutes taking the time out of your day to watch my channel, to watch my videos, I, I'm super, super, super thankful of it. And we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep trying to keep growing the channel because it is something that I really enjoy doing and I wanna give you guys as much information as possible and I love talking about game design. So we're just gonna keep going. And hopefully this time next year, we'll have done even better. Thanks a bunch for watching. I know this is a bit long for an update video, so thanks for sticking around and I'll see you guys in the next one. Next one.